Um, and we have a very difficult time with it because the, the opposite side to the coin of safety is risk. And your brain, as I said earlier, is designed to detect risk and to pull back. At the same time, it's looking for love, which is safety. So this is normal to have attention. Cognitive yeah. dissonance creates flow, creates neurons, creates um, an a, ability for you to learn. So we were designed for this cognitive dissonance, but we tend to react through our amygdala much faster to fear than through our executive function, which is looking for logical ways to find love. Now, I will tell you, even listening to you for five seconds, that your greatest strength and your greatest weakness comes from your interaction and connection with your father. Because your greatest strength is that you can actually empathize and you're always on, which means you're looking to see how people are doing at any given time. And you know, if you dig deep enough, my bet is, and I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV, is that with <laughs> alcoholics, especially violent alcoholics, you are searching to see the triggers so that you can dissipate it before the violence happens. So yeah. you're always sensing everyone in the room to find out what's happening so you can control it because your way to safety is to focus on mitigating that violent outburst. Yeah. Now, your biggest strength is also that you've been able to see things and do things and connect with people in a way that others thought, wow, that's amazing. So it's hard to say, you know, this, the, the, the way your brain works is obviously, you know, is nature and there's nurture. The way your brain works, you wouldn't be able to do that unless you were designed that way. Every tribe has people who sit around the edge who actually look for things happening, right? Yeah. Or that in nurture, you took that piece of your brain and it was a tremendous focus on making it work better because it's the only way you could survive, right? So we all are who we are and who we hang out with um, and who we want to be. And I would argue that as we get older, who we want to be has to be the place that we focus because we have to work our way backwards from what's happened to us in nature and what's happened to us in nurture.